What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to show you how to create Google dynamic search ads. This is an ad format that allows you to give the power to Google to determine which combination of keywords, ad copy, parts of your website are more likely to convert. You may be wondering why we want to give so much power to Google. And the reason is that this can be a great eye opener because Google knows a lot about, knows a lot more about their customers than we do. And so they can use it to our advantage to help us figure out which combination works best. So it's a great testing tool to get some new ideas for potential keywords or ad copies or parts of your website that you never thought would have converted. So let's get started. One thing to note is that if you already have a campaign which does not have dynamic search ads enabled, you cannot uh, create the dynamic search ads for that campaign. You have to create a new campaign. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to click on search campaigns, go to the campaigns tab and let's click on create new campaign. You can select any objective. I'm going to go with website traffic, search, and the website we're going to use is my is our website here from Unbounce that we've created. I'm going to click on continue. And over here, let's name this, you know, keto diet 30 day plan. Check mark that. Now here is where you check mark this dynamic search ads box. You click here, show more settings. And under dynamic search ad settings, you just enter your root domain. So I'm going to paste the domain here, but we have to delete everything that comes after the .com or .fit in my case, and everything before the actual root domain. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it at that. You can add a feed. In this case, I'm just adding the URL. So we're using this first option here. I'm not going to spend too much time on the location. I do have a video on the location options though here uh, on the targeting options. Check out that video because you might be spending money on, on useless clicks. So let's go with budget of say $50. Let's make our maximum cost per click of 50 cents. Again, not spending too much time. I cover a lot of this in my other videos. So let's enter the uh, URLs here, okay? So the only thing you can change with these ads are, are the description of the ad copy and the URLs, okay? So we're going to feed data to Google and then they're going to make something out of it. So I'm going to, again, take this URL and paste it here. You can enter more URLs, right? Enter and then add some more. Uh, in this case, I just have the one. Us affiliate marketers usually just have the one landing page. Uh, so we're gonna stick with that. Now, don't forget to click add and then click save and continue. Don't forget to click add. If you don't click add, you will see an issue on this page, okay? Uh, so for the description, let's say something like, um, so let's say maybe sign up now to get your free 30 day keto diet plan. Let's say best nutritionists and experts available, ready to help you. So again, not perfect, but just something to show you what it's going to look like. I'll click done and I'll click save. And now I'm gonna click on continue to campaign. So here is our campaign now. So if we go to ads and extensions, you will see that the headline is dynamically generated, the display URL is dynamically generated by Google, and only the description shows. Now, if I click plus here, I can create a regular text ad. I will have to create an ad group first, which allows text ads, um, and then responsive search ads and dynamic text ads. So if you want to have both, you will need to create an ad group and you will have to specify whether you want it to be standard or dynamic, okay? So dynamic uh, ads are kind of standalone in their own dynamic ad group, okay? So that's something to keep in mind. Now, as you run these ads, if you go to keywords, you can see that you can't actually add any keywords. Uh, if I go to this one, so this specific ad group. So if I go here, I can't actually add any specific keywords, right? Um, Google is going to pull up that information for us. So sorry, let me go back to keywords. So I can only add negative keywords, but the, the, the benefit of these dynamic search ads comes from this search terms tab, where we can see what crazy search terms that we never would have thought of that Google thinks might convert, would convert. 
and then we can apply these into a different ad group into a regular uh, standard ad group which uh, we can implement these new keywords that we learn about right you can look at landing pages so which landing pages convert so if you have different pages on your site with many different navigation option menus you will see which of those pages actually converted if you have many in this case again we only have one so we know that all the sales are going to be coming from this page um, that's pretty much it so you are able to see all that you can't really change anything here again this is an entirely kind of Google oriented campaign but uh, well you can change bids but I wouldn't suggest doing that because the point is for Google to get the data uh, but that's how you create a dynamic ad so this isn't a responsive search ad where you mix and match things this is dynamic where Google determines what's best for you so I hope this was useful for you if you guys have any questions let me know down below uh, if there's anything I missed definitely let me know I'll see if I can maybe even make a video on it uh, if you enjoyed this video, you might like my videos on Facebook and Microsoft ads as well. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.